It was back in 1850 when Samuel Moores, a baker, first created it. Not only was it appreciated by the farmers who enjoyed it as a snack out in the fields, but also by the famous novelist Thomas Hardy. And now, 150 years later, the Dorset Knob enjoys worldwide recognition. And four generations later, the Moores family are still in the baking business here in Dorset. John Traquair, you're the production manager here, but it's still very much a family-run business, isn't it? It's still in the Moores family, yes. And what about you? You're part of the history. You've been here quite a long time. Well, I've been here 30 years plus, so I suppose I'm part of the family. So if we go back well before then, um, to the turn of the, well, the century, Dorset Knobs, that was the main thing? Uh, yes, Dorset Knobs and shortbread, butters and Easter cakes we used to make in those days, yes. And what is a Dorset Knob though? The Dorset Knobs is a rusk. It's uh, baked three times. Um, ingredients is just flour, sugar, margarine and yeast and it's like I said baked three times and the last baking is about four or five hours drying. What is the other main traditional one you'd be baking? We uh, make butter biscuits which we should be making today. Um, the Dorset knobs we are in, only make for about three months of the year. Uh, we're not making them at the moment. Right, but, so, uh, so in effect it's the, the butter biscuit season It's now. butters today which we shall be making, yes. Okay, how many are you going to make today? Uh, we should make about um, four bins which will make about 20,000 butter biscuits. Really? 20,000? Right, I'd love to see the process. So wh where do we start? Right then we'll go up to the top bakehouse and start making. Right, so butter biscuits, what are the main ingredients? Right then, what we're going to do now, Bill, is we're going to put uh, sugar in and butter. Okay, so I'll put the first one in. And, the... and, what, and what, what are we putting it into? Well, this is a high-speed mixer which we right. use. It's a Morton. They're very high-speed and stainless steel machines. They're very good. That's where a bit of modern day technology helps out. Right, Another like sugar? Yeah, if you put the right. next one in. God, how much sugar is here? Oh, there's uh, 35 in there, each bucket. 35 pounds of sugar? If you talk pounds. Are we allowed to talk about pounds these days? I suppose uh, we're not, are we really? Yeah. It's all changing, that's one thing that has certainly changed. Right, now what do we, um... now we put the butter in. Okay, I'll put one. You don't tell me you're putting all that lot in there. Oh yes, all got to go in. I have never seen so there much are. butter. All this life. butter. There you are. And the other one? And the other one. All right, what's the next then, John? Right, we've got egg to put in now. We don't have to crack all the eggs, do we? No, the eggs come liquid form. Eggs. Oh, look at use. that. So, how many would be in there's here? About four litres. Four litres of eggs. Yep. Roughly, what, about 50 eggs 50 or something? 50 eggs, like roughly, yeah. 50 eggs. Uh, and just anywhere? Yes, just pour it in. The yolk and the white, the whole thing. That's it, yes. Right, that's all the ingredients, isn't okay, it? OK, we'll uh, close the lid and we'll uh, start to cream this up. We give it about uh, eight minutes, slow speed, and then we just scrape down and then we give it uh, another five or six minutes, high speed. Right, let's let the machine do the work then. Press that all-important button. Yeah, this is self-raising, you say? self-raising, yeah. Self yeah. Right then, now I'll let you... Uh, Another? Put the next one in, yes. Seriously, two bags of flour? Three, or two and a half. Three? Good. Oh, I had to do a lot of work. How much do these weigh? There are 32 K. Right, the next one. OK, the last one is only a half bag. Yeah, I noticed you got that one. <laughs> And now, down with the lid. Down with the lid. And then we put it on slow. For how long? For about two minutes. Okay. This is beginning to look like biscuit here, John. That's right. This is next stage. And uh, how many biscuits will we get out of all of this mix? We probably get about five or six thousand biscuits out of that mixture. Really? Yes. Well, that doesn't surprise me, actually, with all the flour we put in there, but five or 6,000 biscuits. So uh, all this mix now goes into the containers, and then what happens? And then we take it down into the bakehouse and uh, put it through the wire cut depositor. OK, Bill, there's your butter biscuit dough. If you'd like to put the dough into the hopper, and we'll uh, start making biscuits. Right, so this is called a hopper. That's correct. And what, what does this, this bit do exactly? Well, this is a wire cut depositor, which actually um, the dough goes down through the rollers, 
and then forms a biscuit underneath on the tray. See, so we're cutting the biscuits into we're shape now. We're cutting the biscuits, yes. Right, so how much do I fill this up with? Uh, three quarters. That's three quarters. about enough there. Yeah. Okay. You put right. the, the dough while we'll, uh, start the machine. Now, John, butter, flour, eggs, um, where are the preservatives? No preservatives. All natural ingredients we use. Really? I I've never so, seen a packet of biscuits without the preservatives in uh, it. No side. preservatives in this. And how long will they last for? Uh, we always put seven months on our packets, but they will keep for about 12 months. All right, so all this is being prepared. Now, the next step, these go into the oven to be baked. How long do they take? They take about 25 minutes. And, and then, have we got some baking at the we moment? We have got some cooling over there in the cooling area. Right, let's see how they're turning out. OK. And here we are, the finished product. Is this the same biscuit? This is the butter biscuits, yes. They've gone flatter and larger? In the baking, they go like that. Yes. I see, excellent. Well, I think for the sake of quality control, we need to try one of these. Just one, is that all right? Uh, yes, I'll uh, join you. Mmm. Oh, they are delicious. And the great thing about these is that it's a bit like hot bread just out of the oven. They're slightly warm, mm -hmm. so yeah. that makes them even more special. John, thank you very much indeed. It's been a great trip around the bakery. Thanks okay, very much. Okay, you're welcome. I think one of your members of staff. Okay, I'll just go and see what they want. Yeah, thanks.